Well, the Biden administration says that air travel is more dangerous and will get more dangerous because, wait for it, climate change. Of course. Their favorite scapegoat for whatever they don't want you to be doing. Obviously, it's not because Boeing manufacturers and whistleblowers are dying and the FAA conspiracies. No, certainly not, right? The new problems with air safety are because climate change, they say, are contributing to more turbulence. And that's just going to get worse, folks. Watch Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg try to make this claim over the weekend on Face the Nation. The reality is the effects of climate change are already upon us in terms of our transportation. We've seen that in the form of everything from uh, heat waves that shouldn't statistically even be possible, threatening to melt the cables of transit systems in the Pacific Northwest, <laughs> to hurricane seasons becoming more and more extreme, and indications that turbulence is up by about 15%. Uh, that means assessing anything and everything that we can do about it. Here in the U.S.? Uh, well, in the atmosphere generally. Uh, but uh, certainly something that will affect American travelers, uh, whether uh, here or abroad. Now, there are protocols and patterns for things like how pilots who encounter turbulence can notify those who might be uh, coming in the path. But I do think we need to continually reevaluate that in the face of the reality that these things are more frequent and more severe than before. That horrific video that people were terrified by when they saw the Singapore Airlines um, encounter such severe turbulence that actually killed someone. Yeah. That was rare. But you're saying you do expect to see more incidents like that here in the U.S.? To be clear, uh, something that extreme is very rare. But turbulence can happen, and sometimes it can happen unexpectedly. Our climate is evolving. Uh, our policies and our technology and our infrastructure have to evolve accordingly, too. This is all about making sure that we stay ahead of the curve, keeping aviation as safe as it is. Uh, it, it's not for nothing that it became the safest form of travel in America. Okay, allow me to show you why he's an idiot, if you will, uh, because how does, first of all, he says that heat waves should not even be possible. Well, climate scientists know of at least two periods of global warming in thousands of years past uh, that already happened and the world somehow recovered from it. So he says it shouldn't be possible that historical records have at least two global warming periods. So does he not know that? Is he's not, he's not studying? But how does he know that more turbulence in the atmosphere is caused by climate change? Well, here's how he reasons that because we have more turbines per, turbulence-related accidents since the 1980s. So he's assuming that we all assume that climate change is human-caused, with sci which scientists do not agree on yet. We've been over these models. And it's gotten worse since the 80s, which, again, the models don't agree on. And that we must make the assumption, then, that the increase in turbulence is caused by climate change because they're correlated. Well, those are big leaps to make, especially because the National Transportation Safety Board's own report shows that turbulence-related incidents are only up because flight times are up. This comes from this 2021 report, which shows that turbulence incidents are only up because we fly so much more, hundreds of thousands of hours a day, more than we did in the 1980s. So when you control for the increased amount of flight times per day, turbulence incidents are not up. That's a lie. Are you shocked? Are you shocked that he's lying? They're actually slightly down. So Mayor Pete either did not do his own homework before saying stupid things on TV over the weekend, but let's look at the data. Anyway, here is the chart. What we're looking at here is the dark blue line at the bottom related to turbulence incidents. The analysis says there is no, it's written there. This is what the government says, not me. No obvious trend over time for turbulence-related accidents. And this is per 100,000 hours of flight time. So the data also shows that passengers, us, are the least likely travelers to get hurt. Mostly it's flight attendants, which should tell us something when they tell us to keep our seatbelt fastened when we're not up and about. We probably should do that because look at that. Most passenger injuries, it shows, actually come from when you get up to go to the bathroom. Um, and flight attendants get hurt most often because they're walking around. So we do not have data 
showing that climate change will cause more turbulence. Plus, aviation technology allows airlines to forecast and avoid turbulence. That is the solution that even this own report offers for preventing turbulence related incidents is that they just, you know, in order for the aviation industry to deal with this, they need improved weather forecasting, dissemination of weather reports and air traffic management practices to reduce the likelihood of encountering this turbulence. They know where it is. It's not like, oh, oops, it's very rare for them to encounter turbulence that they did not forecast. So the climate change explanation doesn't quite add up. So why is the media all over it? Like, that's it. We all need to be afraid. Climate change. Uh, look at this headline. Professor ponders, ponders like Thoreau pondering something by a lake on Walden Pond. <laughs> like, is this actually a threat to my human existence? Uh, they cite this 2023 study showing an increase in turbulence, and they say that this was probably due to climate change, but they have no climate models to show that a doubling of CO2 in the atmosphere, in fact, it doesn't match up to their models. Here they say here that uh, they didn't match up to the models that we had expected so they say it could even be worse than the model. So, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. What they're saying is that expected turbulence doesn't match our CO2 models. And since it, since it doesn't match, we're saying probably it's worse. Well, if the model doesn't show it, the model doesn't show it. You can't say probably anything. <laughs> right. That's ridiculous. That doesn't track, uh, especially when you see that turbulence. That's science works. Right? Yeah. This but model like doesn't fit. So I think this. saying something. Yeah. A scientist saying something is not science. That's just <laughs> right. that scientist's <laughs> opinion. Yeah. That's, all, that's all that is. You're free to have it, but that's if the model doesn't show it, then you have no nothing to corroborate this climate-related change turbulence hypothesis. Uh, so we're winging it, especially when, again, you clearly see that turbulence incidents have gone down per 100,000 hours of flight time. Uh, but does this, though, explain all the ground incidents we're seeing. So think back to the last couple of months where we just see incident over incident about planes. Well, mostly they're happening upon landings. They have nothing to do with turbulence. Uh, doors coming off and landing. Just this week, a plane in Chicago burst into flames on the tarmac. Uh, here is this video. Um, I'll talk over it, but obviously- Yeah, you don't want that. This is not turbulence. Like if I'm- you know, I'm having my, my peanuts looking out the window. You don't want to see that. No, I don't. No. I, I really don't. I mean, you don't see the turbulence there? <laughs> you don't see the climate change? <laughs> I mean, I see the climate, the climate change. all over that wing. Uh, the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign, guys. We are experiencing some climate change out on the left side. Uh, on the left side of the window here. So if you see some so climate we'll be releasing change, the masks from the overhead compartment, some of you may die because of climate change. So we just want to make sure. Right. And so, I mean, it's obvious that climate change is just the Trump, what's the Trump card now, uh -huh. like can't explain something, want to scare you, climate change. I'm going to use that around the house. Honey, why are your clothes? Uh, why didn't you empty the dishwasher? Why didn't you empty the dishwasher? You know why? Climate change. Yeah. If I take those dishes out, it could affect the climate. There's a little extra residue of water in one of the cups. I don't want that to add to the atmosphere. Right. It could cause chemtrails. I don't want to do that. Climate change. Climate change is the answer. So here's another relevant question. Is the Biden administration making excuses for the av aviation industry with climate change instead of actually doing the work to figure out what the heck is going on at the FAA with all of these mostly ground incidents and actually make travel safer? Is this... An excuse? Maybe? Just a hypothesis? I ask this because several whistleblowers recently have been found not alive. Uh, now the FAA and the airlines say that they missed all the shortcuts that Boeing was taking with their inspections. Uh, this was Boeing whistleblower Ed Pearson accused, accusing the plane manufacturer of a criminal cover-up during a Senate hearing back in April. Boeing routinely states that their airplanes meet or exceed all safety standards. This is untrue and misrepresents the safety of the airplanes. The company illegally removed thousands of quality control inspections on individual airplanes without the FAA's knowledge and without the knowledge of the airlines. Although many of these inspections have been reinstated, hundreds of airplanes have left Boeing factories without those thousands of inspections. The NTSB chair reiterated to Congress last week that Boeing has said there are no records 
documenting the removal of the Alaska Airlines door. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This is a criminal cover-up. Records do, in fact, exist. I know this because I've personally passed them to the FBI. A, a five-minute testimony is not nearly enough time to explain how insidious the story is. Boeing's corporate leaders continue to conceal the truth. They continue to mislead and deceive the public about the safety of the planes. That is the safety culture at the top of the Boeing company right now. Wow. Okay, but climate change. That's right. Yeah, it's it's climate change. It's not Boeing's incompetence. It's climate change. Or and an of FAA course, conspiracy to let them get away with what the heck. Yeah, yeah, they won't investigate them. They're fine to look the other way, but it's climate change. Yes. Right, all of their crony. So capital. let us know what you think. Uh, if you want to find me some models that show that increased CO2 might in fact increase turbulence when the own, our American government does not see that, let me know. If I've missed something, maybe Bo Pete Buttigieg is not an idiot, but at this point, I'm concluding that he is. Yes, he is. Mayor Pete. And I want to see the line continued. Media. I want to see the line continued from, from climate change to turbulence to doors falling off. I want that, I want that wrapped up nice and neat <laughs> right. for me. Why is that wing on fire? <laughs> Tie that to climate change for me. I want to see it. <laughs> it looks like we, we lost an engine. We picked the, I'm sure picked the wrong wing. Man, to stop turbulence. Drinking. Airplane. <laughs> sure picked the wrong week to stop drinking. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. You know, YouTube thinks that you'll actually like this next video right here. It's personalized based on your own viewing habits. So if you watch the video, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. And we will see you next time, everyone.